This is my morning face. My I just woke up face. It is currently October 9th and I am going to get my starting stats for um I'm so tired for uh, like body weight, body fat, muscle mass, all of that so that I can see where I'm starting out and at the end of the month we will figure out how much progress I've made. So here we go. I have so many mirrors in my room now, it's like weird seeing myself from behind in the camera, but yeah, here we go. Starting stats. This is my game plan for this first month of the Writer Gets Ripped Challenge. It's from my Lay's Mills On Demand subscription. They have different monthly workout plans that you can print out and follow. So this one is starting really simple three days a week, most of the time one of the workouts is 15 minutes and one of the workouts is an hour and then one of the workouts is a stretch. That sounded like something I could definitely work with and then these are all of my beginning stats right here. I am at the heaviest weight I've ever been at, 155.4 pounds, BMI is at 27.6, body fat percentage is at 31.8, muscle rate is 45.1. The amount of calories I burn just rusting is at 1,407. Metabolic age is 32, which I would ideally like that to be lower than my actual age, which is currently 29. So, um, Visceral fat index is 9 and subcutaneous fat is at 29.5%. So, we're going to see what happens with those at the end of the month. This is the last weekend in October before the last Wednesday of the month shows up. So I'm taking my end of month numbers today for the Riders Kit Rip Challenge. Let's see how I did. And then I'll talk about some of the little things that I've been doing um, that may or may not have helped. And I will readjust my plan for November if things didn't really change that much. Honestly, I don't know, like, I don't know what it's gonna be. I was doing pretty well on the eating front for a little while, and then this last week, I got like a bunch of cookies from a friend, <laughs> and it's, it's rude not to eat friend cookies, right? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Okay, so here we go with the results. I have the Fit Track app. <laughs> um, it looks like this. I don't know if that will show up. So this has all of the, the breakdown of the stats after you weigh yourself and like as I went through before, like all my BMI and all of that is all recorded here. So my new weight for the month is 153.9. I lost just about two pounds, not quite. My BMI went down 0.3, so that's something. BFP is the other one I'm measuring. That one went down 0.4%, so my body fat percentage, I lost 0.4%. I am now, you can see like the more details, right in between what they classify to be standard and high. So I'd like to get more solidly into that standard area. Muscle rate was 45.1. It's now 45%, so that's basically the same. <laughs> My resting metabolic rate, I now burn 1,404 calories as opposed to 1,407. Metabolic age has stayed the same as 32. Visceral fat index is nine still, and subcutaneous fat was at 29.5%, and now it's at 21 29.1. So very incremental changes, but that's kind of what this whole challenge is all about, is gradually getting into a healthier lifestyle. I have been completing all three of the workouts that I had set out to do. Not always on the correct days, but they have all three gotten done. Next month, I, well, let's see. What my plan says, I think is mostly three days still but there's less stretching. So this month there was like, um, there was a lot of weeks actually where two of the workouts were like stretch-based workouts and one of them was like a really high intense 
um, cardio, like either doing like mixed martial arts type of things, or there's this one workout in Lay's Mills called Hybrid, which sort of can like, it's a mix of like your CR or their CX works, which is really core based and then also body combat. And then this one that they called body attack, which is really um, high cardio, more about getting your heart rate up than um, doing anything with muscle. So it was normally like one really intense workout like that. And then two like either really chill stretch workouts or like one really chill stretch workout and then like a 15 minute more intense workout. But looking into next month, it looks like there's two kind of intense workouts a month, a week with one that's more based on stretching. So that'll be interesting to see how that works out. I also stopped drinking coffee about halfway through the month of October and it's been really difficult like on a mental level for me because I mean coffee is definitely something that I would say I've gotten addicted to over the years but it was getting to the point where it was really messing with my emotional state like if I didn't have coffee halfway through the day in the afternoon I would get like actually agitated and angry and if you're dependent on anything like that for emotional happiness I just in general think that's you know not a good place to be in so I am giving myself a break from coffee and I think it's really helped with like me being less bloated and me being able to have a more regular eating schedule which is nice is because coffee's an appetite suppressant so it's you know when you drink too much of it it messes up your appetite and what you eat when so that's something that I've changed this month when I when November starts I'll probably drink coffee again, but I'm gonna not do it on a daily basis. It's gonna be more spread out. I won't have it every day. Let's see, what else? Going into November, my goal. Like that's the month where everybody eats all the sweet things and we start baking stuff cause it gets cold. Oh, random side note, today we had the first rain in Southern California, like San Diego area of fall. So it officially feels like fall now that it's the end of October, <laughs> so that's fun. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I haven't really noticed a huge change in my actual body um, as far as like how I look or how I feel in my clothes or anything like that. So it's just, you know, it lost about two pounds. So I don't know exactly when, I don't know when it starts to feel different but I guess I'll find out because this is definitely something that I am committed to and that I am going to keep pursuing. And I'll be back again at the end of next month with another update. I'll try to add more. I didn't really do it much this month because I'm still working on like kind of body confidence stuff, but I would like to show more of like the workouts that I'm doing and how that's all going. Not just for you guys, but like also for like me to look back and see progress and what I can achieve physically. So um, maybe that's something I'll feel more comfortable filming next month, we'll see. But yeah, that that's my writing or my writer gets ripped update for October. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to receive weekly videos on all the things talking about books and business and building your best life, go ahead and subscribe. Videos go up every Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time.